Hey, what's up, guys? This is Hans from the Eclectic Podcast, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Toys R Us exclusive MPO6 Autobot Commando Blue Streak. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a chance to look at this box. This is the first masterpiece that came out of Toys R Us for this year, um, at least that I'm aware of. I haven't seen any other ones out there. Um, so, real quick, we'll go through the box. Uh, they, they did make some changes to it this year. Um, first and foremost, you can see over here, uh, they've, they've gone with the the black on the side as opposed to the white that they used to have where it's got the Transformers logo further down and then it adds the Autobot Generations logo up at the top. On the side of the box you still have the wraparound of the Autobot logo. On the back they've gone with like less detail and we get the same images um, of Blue Streak on the back of the box as what we had on the front. So that's kind of confusing. Um, on the side of the box we do have his bio. You can pause the video now if you'd like to read that. Give you a chance to look at that thing real quick. Down at the bottom of that, we do have an Autobot symbol. Uh, up at the top, we've got that uh, kanji that's been on the masterpieces. Don't know what it says. If you know, let me know. Uh, down at the bottom, just some copyright information. Uh, and then also, again, on the back, we do have the Nissan officially licensed. And then if your kids are under three, they're going to be sad with this product. Because it's not made for kids for under three. Just to let you know. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead. What we'll do is we'll open up this package and, uh, we'll take a look at him inside of the box and you can take a look at what's inside. So let's rip it open. Here he is outside of the box. Um, and it's actually got kind of a Vitruvian man, uh, blue streak in there. Got instructions gun. Um, let's go ahead and let's pop that out of there. It does have, uh, that blueprint, uh, style of information they've been doing with like the masterpiece well not even just masterpiece but transformers in general as of late uh, right there we have megatron there's bumblebee uh a bunch of various stuff there's unicron there uh there is some other stuff there's the the matrix of leadership which is kind of a cool little touch i don't think there's these are indicative of anything that's coming out from uh transformers or anything this year but i just thought they were kind of cool designs you get optimus prime down there so but that doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and let's get that out of the way. And here he is outside of his packaging. Just so you know, when you first get him out of the box, he is transformed incorrectly. You need to get to the bottom here and flip out his heel spurs. Uh, otherwise, he's not going to stand properly. Get those all straightened up. Um, first first uh, impressions of the figure, he's just looks incredible. The paint detail looks awesome. But we'll get into that more in a second. Let's see what else he comes with here. Um, we do have his rifle, which does do the, the flip feature to plug him into uh, his uh, alt mode. You just flip this right here, and that's a really stiff tab on this guy. It's got a nice satisfying click whenever you do put it back. you got to just kind of give it a little force. A little bit more force than that. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we get the instructions, typical masterpiece instructions. You've seen those before. Um, nice nice little rendition of them. They're good. I mean, Hasbro does a good job with their instructions for the most part. Um, on the figure itself, let's go ahead and first things first, let's take a look at that head sculpt real fast. As you can see, the wings on it look great. Um, posability on it is awesome. I just, I really love the detail. Um, I like those eyes. Great molding on his face. Uh, the missiles that are actually on his shoulders, they do extend out. So you get a little bit more uh, uh, range on there than what they come with out of the box. I do wish they would have came with the Amazon exclusive with the rockets, but it did not. As for articulation, the arms uh, are on this weird swivel on the, on the shoulders, but you would be able to do a full 360, but it gets uh, hindered by his wings. Uh, you do get a double hinged bicep. Most of that's due to transformation, but you do get a nice deep bend from that. Uh, he does have uh, a waist swivel, if I can move it. This guy is incredibly tight, which uh, it's good to see that out of a you know Hasbro masterpiece right out of the box, just to see that, that amount of tension. Uh, you do have the double hinged knee, uh, so you can get a really nice deep bend in that. 
there. Uh, the foot, if you're familiar with the Fairly DZ at all, you can flip this down here and you can kind of see the action that goes on there and you get a nice pivot in there from the transformation mainly because it does this weird accordion collapse of the legs. Um, you also have, uh, on the thighs, they can go all the way out. They can go all the way back. And then you can bend that knee back and you put them in a figure skating pose if you wanted to. Put it back down. Close up the flap. And the hands are the typical masterpiece hands where it's kind of the, the winter mitts. Um, so, I mean, it's nothing fancy, nothing to write home about. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put in the gun. And I, I had an issue with it trying to clip in. I don't know, maybe I just wasn't doing it right. But it, the tension within the hands actually is well enough to hold on to the pistol fine. Um, it doesn't come out. I mean, it doesn't feel loose. If you look here when I shake it, it looks pretty solid. Yeah, I, I, he looks, I think he looks great. Um, the paint details all the way around look good. The doors, like the silver... Just the little accents, everything on it looks awesome. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll put them into alt mode. I'm not going to go through transformation. Let's look at alt mode real quick. Alt mode is where this guy shines, I, I believe. Uh, the paint apps are just amazing on him. If you look, the contrast between the black and the silver just looks incredible. Uh, you can't see it on camera so much, but it does have um, some really nice uh, clear coat on the top. With the black and the Fairly DZ logo, I'm sorry, I couldn't get that much more focus than what it is. Um, and then on the side, the silver that's on there, it's got a really nice metallic flake in it. Again, it's something else that I, I really don't think you're going to pick up on camera. From what I understand from the Takara version, uh, the Takara version has a lot more of the metallic flake in there. But I think it looks great um, on this silver also. Um... The T-tops, everything about it just looks phenomenal. Uh, everything's solid, pegs together great. Just a spectacular uh, feat of engineering. Rolls well. Just, I'm, I'm so impressed with what they're able to do with these things. I mean, when we were kids, these were just blocks, basically, that had arms and legs that came off of them. But now they're able to actually get their real-world counterparts to match. It does still have the weapon peg feature uh, in alt mode that it has in uh, the other... Uh, Autobot uh, alt modes. Let's go ahead and we'll pop this here. You split it right at the back. And then you flip up. There's a tab right inside of there. And it's incredibly tight. And I think it's maybe just because of the paint apps on this guy right now. Incredibly tight to get out. So I had to open up the doors. But you just flip up this tab. Sorry for going off screen. And then close it back up. Which again was another feat because I don't know. Everything was just not working for me today. Uh, come on. Close together. Close together. Oh, there we go. Okay. Kind of. Come on. <laughs> I had a struggle. I had a struggle with him to get him back into uh, collapse position. But, um, <laughs> like I said, I really think a lot of it has to do with the paint because everything is, is really well applied on him. Uh, it was really stiff to get the motion in there. Close. There we go. Okay, got it. Okay, then you just take the weapon. And you want to support it from the back as you push it forward. Again, because of the paint, it's going to be super tight. But you just go ahead and push that forward. And it does do the tilt and everything else that you'd expect. So again, here it is, just in alt mode without the weapon or anything, because this is the way I prefer them. Uh, you do get the rubberized uh, side mirrors on them just like you do with the other uh, Fair Lady Z uh, molds that we've gotten. I, I think he looks great. Uh, he's worth a pickup. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, peace out. We'll see you soon.